So this post is about, you know, how to find yourself being happy and single, right? But I want to focus on a particular uh, phrase. And uh, it's this portion. When in relationship, stopping everything I used to do when single, seeing gym, uh, friends, gym, hobbies, and etc. To dedicate all my time and energy to my partner. So... When you're in relationships and you basically have an on-off switch where your entire lifestyle changes whether you have a relationship, um, based on whether you have a relationship or not, that is, needless to say, going to be not that great when you don't have a relationship, right? Because you're kind of living two lives. but. What's the mechanic behind that? Why do we fall into that kind of a lifestyle anyways? The starting point is like this person is very, you know, self-aware. It's codependency, right? And it's our natural desire wanting more and more and more and more because the stimulus of finding a, having a new romantic partner is very, very dopamine inducing, right? As you, anyone can imagine. So because it's so good, it's so natural to want more. And then the thing is, when you don't have the experience of, uh, you know, reaching uh, the maximum potential high from a relationship, then it's kind of hard to pace yourself, right? It's like the first time you start drinking. It's like the first time you, you know, pick up uh, when you're a child. It's like the first time you had grandma's cookies. Like these new stimuluses that have a very, very high dopamine reward. When you don't experience the ceiling, you have to find out the ceiling first and then you learn how to adjust with time, right? But you know, sugar, it's introduced at a very early age. And, um, you know, drinking, it's introduced around 20, but then, you know, you hit highs, you get blackouts, and you get fucking wasted. But at the same time, your body is really healthy. It's like your body is kind of at its peak in your early 20s, right? So it gives you kind of time to compensate and learn the highs. But when it comes to relationships, um, if it's very... Relationships during young adult periods when your body has gone through like all the puberty stuff like the hormones are completely raging and uh, you're gonna try to hit the high very very fast and you're gonna crash unfortunately but that's how we kind of have to know and this happens to all kind of dopamine kind of uh, induced things so the nice thing is this person is aware that they are emotionally codependent, but of course there are mental aspects to it, right? Of course there are like, you know, um, reasons why you obsess over your partner and things like that. So those are, there are psychological reasons involved, but for this particular video, I want to highlight that there are also physiological aspects. There are also like neurochemical reasons for this kind of thing. So. I think another uh, aspect of uh, the modern society that people you know frequently talk about on Reddit, but outside of Reddit, not many people discuss is the ease of availability of, of pornography. So because it's so easily available, and because there are so many sources, like I go on Twitter just to catch up with the latest news, and then half of the feed, um, you know, has like. The algorithm suggests stuff, and then when when you click onto it, there's like you know um, people who are promoting their OnlyFans and things like that, right? And that th it makes sense because you know the more a post goes viral, the more you put yourself on it, the more likely you're also going to be viral. And Twitter has payouts for being viral, so it makes sense, right? But the ease of access to adult content, and especially like. Um, how easy it is to access like a completely new depth of pornography compared to like a, just one or two generations ago. I think that also has a very big uh, tendency to kind of very rapidly hit a very, very high in terms of sexual uh, related dopamine releases. And uh, it is something to keep in mind 
because these days it's more and more accepted to talk about getting therapy for these types of things right and while you're discussing therapy it is also worthwhile to check out some psychiatrist if you have an insurance plan that you know um, supports it to try to manage the dopamine from a neurochemical level because uh, the human body can only react a certain way when it comes to stimuli but the modern age it tends to amplify the effect in a very very short amount of time and our bodies I don't think have necessarily caught up to how the modern age feeds dopamine to us.